Jeff Platt here for PokerNews.com, hanging out with Jeff Gross. They are in the money in the Big Blind Antis event. Jeff, I know you don't come here just for the min caches, but with that said, how good does it feel to, to get your first cash of the summer? Yeah, it feels good after a rough week. Some, <laughs> some uh, the Colossus is sort of a turbo format, so there's a lot of all-ins, and you know, it's it's not fun when things aren't rolling smoothly, especially at the very start. But it takes a little while to get in a rhythm. I think confidence is a huge part of poker, so. Cashing the Colossus now here in the next very next event, going deep in this 1,300 plus person field, getting a cash and kind of getting a little more comfortable and just getting in a rhythm live. You know, playing, been playing a lot of online poker, mm -hmm. streaming the scoops, and, and it's a much different game. You know, the live aspect of it, it it's a little slower. Um, you could take your time. The, there's a lot of live kind of reads or just different types of players than the online typical player. So it's uh, it's good. I, I actually prefer live poker if it wasn't for Twitch. I mean, I love Twitch. I love online again. But, you know, I think the for me, I've always just kind of been a live guy, live playing. I've been playing a long time, a lot of events, and feel very comfortable live. Let's get into that Twitch streaming, though. You've got the, got the flow show going. You're one of the, the staples of this Twitch poker community. What do you think Twitch has done to, to enhance that community? Yeah, I think Twitch, you know, really has kind of saved, uh, well, I don't want to say save poker, but it's really brought it to a new level. I think it's just one of those things that having that interaction with the viewer, being able to talk to them directly, you know, watching a, a high roller, a, a, a great tournament, it's, it's amazing to see what these players are doing and what's going on, but to have that in a tournament deep to kind of get some thought process, some reasoning to be able to connect with the player directly, you know, on a very short delay. I, I think it's just revolutionary and it's it's really, really cool. And uh, you know, I'm really excited to see the World Series of Poker partnering with Twitch. That's a huge deal. I mean, there's Poker Go, but having that Twitch dynamic and that, that option for people, the free option, uh, it's really, really great. And you know, I think it's going to do a world for poker. And we're already, we've been seeing it in the last few years. Yeah, we've seen a really interactive experience on Twitch so far with the streaming of the WSOP events. Like you mentioned, as a player online, how cool is it to have like a whole team of supporters? It's like a virtual rail right there in the chat room. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I mean, those Sunday grinds online, 10-hour days, 12-hour days, 14, 15, 16. I've streamed 25 hours straight before and one of my biggest scores ever. And having like, you know, that extra juice, that extra, the people there kind of, you know, whatever, either cheering you on or, or making sure you stay focused or helping you out and just kind of feeling with them, especially when some of them are buying action, you know, on like Stake Kings, other sites where they're actually invested in you, they're feeling it. So they're, they may be in for $2, $5 and it like, they, they feel it, you know, they're all in, you're, they're yeah. watching you're all in and they're actually like sweating it with you. So, you know, you really can feel the support there and it's, it's electric and I love it. Besides your hopes, obviously, to win a bracelet in this event, what are your plans for the rest of the summer? Going to be firing pretty much everything. There are some other events, you know, other series during the summer here that look pretty t enticing. I played Aria 25K right before the series started and uh, unfortunately bubbled that in pretty dramatic fashion, but it's, um, you know, it's, it's, I like to be in the zone. I like all American day food here. I like to park and just have my you know routine. I come in, it's very close to my unit. I, I want to win a bracelet. That's my main focus during the summer. So I think I'll be, primarily be sticking to World Series of Poker bracelets. Mostly no limit. I'll play a couple pot limit, pot limit Omaha, or the high low events. I like those as well. And I'll be playing the 50K, which you know it's going to be a less, one of the smaller fields for no limit hold'em. And you know, it's a very tough field, but you know, it's, it's a little easier to win a 50 or 150 person field than one of these 1,300, 2,000 person fields. And finally, Jeff, you mentioned bubbling that Aria 25K. Yeah. You were able to give fans a look of that via your vlog. Yeah. How much do you enjoy that part of this process? No, I, for me, vlogging is really enjoyable because mm -hmm. it's like a journal for me. You know, it's like I, I take notes, I, I write stuff down, but to, to actually have that video, like looking back on last summer, you know, my buddy won a World Series bracelet from his cell phone, capturing some of that, having that, uh, having that documented, like not just a, a story or Instagram photo, it's having an actual video to look back. So, you know, for me, it, I like that people enjoy it. It's, it's great, but for me, it's a personally enjoyable way that I can kind of document my career and who knows how long I'll play poker, but, you know, to be able to go back and tell my kids or, you know, look back and say, oh man, I remember that summer, I remember that event, I remember that hand, you know, I think it's really, really cool and I really do enjoy it. Thanks for the time, man. Good luck this summer, all right? Thanks a lot, Jeff. All right, you got it. That is Jeff Gross. I'm Jeff Platt for PokerNews.com.